Welcome to Go Rangers Radio, where the New York Rangers are always the talk of the town. If you bleed red, white, and Rangers blue, hail the king, follow the bread man, and know how to spell Capo Caco, then you've tuned to the right place. And now, here are your handsome hosts, Kevin Delury and Paul Cuthbert. They're not always going to get it right, but you can be damn sure they'll pretend they are. Now, let's go Rangers Radio. Yeah, good evening everybody and welcome to Go Rangers Radio. Broadcasting live from the Go Hockey Media Studios in New York, baby. Yours truly, Mr. Paul Cuppert. And everybody, please say hello and welcome aboard. Your friend of mine, Mr. Kevin DeLore, KD. How we doing, brother? Man, sweating one out there, Paulie. I, I, I seriously almost didn't call you because if, if Toronto would have tied it up and they would have lost in overtime, we weren't doing the show tonight. It was over. Well, I had a I had a basket weaving thing I thought we could talk about, you know, <laughs> something something for the ladies for Valentine's Day as a backup. Oh, baby, we'll take it, man. Five three win. The boys look pretty good, pal. Cry to watch. Yeah, is no, on. you know it's all yeah. good. Oh, nice win, nice win, Toronto. I mean, look, we we think the Rangers are bad defensively. Oof, Toronto is, they're awful. It's like uh, odd man rushes left and right turnovers in the defensive end i mean they're a fun team to watch because it's a lot of back and forth and that was an entertaining game uh, but man ooh, we we complain about our defense yikes hey we're doing all right man the boys played pretty well tonight um and you know what else paulie sorry yes. to cut you off Go ahead, pal. Tor- toronto looks like they need a goalie my friend looks <laughs> like they need a goalie <laughs> You want to get into it again? Should we get into the goaltending situation again? I, I think you just round, I think you said this just laid it out perfectly right there, man. <laughs> you know, all of them, Shanahan and all of them right now, man, are probably going right across the hall. <laughs> That's Not right. Well, on JD's door, or they're meeting them downstairs at the bar. Let's let's start negotiating right now, buddy. <laughs> are you kidding me? They they could just go over to uh, freaking Georgiev. He's in the press box too. <laughs> He's the bartender hey. tonight. He's going to be there gracious. serving drinks. <laughs> he, he's going to forget how to play hockey. It's been so long since he played. Oh, this ma- anyway. well, Look, hey, he's going, right? <laughs> I mean, Shesty got his new mask. I guess he's staying. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, not, he's definitely not going anywhere. I can't, I can't for the life of me figure out. I, I guess we're getting into it now. I, you can't justify to me, and I love Henrik Lundqvist, and he was the best player on the ice the other night in, in when he had the shutout against Detroit. But you can't give me a, a, a proper justification as to why this guy is playing right now. Like, seriously, Paulie, like, why is he playing? What is the benefit of him playing right now? The benefit to Shestorkin playing is get him developed. The benefit to your gift playing is either you're developing him also or you're trying to showcase him for other teams come trade deadline time. Like, why is Lundqvist even playing? It's look. It's I sorry. Don't have I, I, I don't even want to get it. Just start the show the way you regularly do. I, I'm getting too busy. <laughs> about it. Let, let's talk about tonight's game. Tonight's game was fun. Let's All talk right. about something fun. Let's talk Fif- about something fun. Fifty-two win. Uh, Fifty-two <laughs> games, buddy. That's uh, win number twenty-six for the blue shirts. There. Uh, Are we in the playoffs yet? No, we're we're <laughs> yeah. very we're far out of the playoffs. Yeah. Um, okay. But hey, look, good game, man. Uh, they got the shots up. They played very well defensively. Hey, it's pretty good, uh, you know, Maple Leaf team over there on the other side. So uh, it's all good. We'll take it, man. It's two points. You know, Kreider showing off his goods. Uh, I yeah, love jo- he's, I been, jo- he's been fantastic, <laughs> man. Takes we are some- gonna get a, we're gonna get like five first round picks for him now if he keeps this up. I loved your tweet earlier. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss Kreider when he's gone. <laughs> oh man, it's good Dude, stuff. He- he is he is points in eighteen of his last twenty three games. He's a machine. That's insane. Buddy. I know he's twenty four points in those twenty three games. Nuts. Hey man, he's uh he's, he's all that we want, baby, and more for a package. And look at Boots tonight too, man. Books is putting yeah. Up. He's he's showing off too, man. So it's all good stuff. I mean, uh, 
You know, these guys are uh, playing right into the hands of uh, the trade deadline, so it's all good stuff. I mean, you know, as far as where you sit on this as a fan, you know, one way or the other, um, you know, it's out of our hands. They're going to make the calls here. I mean, obviously the goaltending thing is just uh, – it's such a head-scratcher. It's just unbelievable. But, but you have to feel something's going on, right? I mean, that's the only thing that I, I, I can, you know – I mean, you can't make any sense out of the madness. But, hey, look – you know, the team played well tonight. They showed some toughness. That's a pretty good offensive team over there. I mean, that one stat I think Sam said about um, Austin Matthews since, uh, you know, the new coach has taken over. Keith, what, you know, um, 25 goals. I mean. It was uh, like in 31 games or something like that. Yes. Yeah. Insane. And it was like, which never scored his 11th. You know, he's like, he's yeah. a ways, he's well, a ways he's, behind. He's turn, I tell you what, he's turned it on. You know, I mean. If you listen to all the sort of analytics people, they were saying, you know, it's coming. He's sort of running into a lot of, uh, you know, bad sort of puck luck, you know. But, you know, he's had, you know, the possession stats have been there and the shooting percentage is low or whatever. So, and look, you know, he he's a good player. He's got a lot of skill, you know. You get a little frustrated with him at, at times. But, you know, he's a highly skilled player, you know. He just runs, he just runs cold sometimes and, He's always seemingly in the coach's sort of chateau bow wow, whether it's Quinn or Vigneault. So, you know, he, he can definitely be sort of a little bit of a maddening player. But, you know, he's got the skills, man. When he is on, he, he's he's a top end talent. Yeah, man. I mean, it's uh, this team is a very talented team. Yeah. You know, hey, look, you know, when we were on here last week during the All-Star break and, you know, I was just clamoring for, hey, they better go in and, and, and take four points away from the wings. And they went and did it. Uh, so that's great stuff. Uh, a little bit of a stinker, obviously, against Dallas. But you And know, they really all... didn't play. They didn't really even play that bad against Dallas. They had that that stupid goal that, you know, it hit the netting. And then, you know, Quinn reviewed it. The camera angle showed it hit the netting. So we called right before Dallas scored. So they do the review, and they say, no, it didn't. And then the Rangers are assessed the penalty, and then Dallas scored on the ensuing power play. I mean, they completely got screwed on there. I mean, the Rangers tied it up, so it was 2-2. But that, you know, changed the game there. They could have been up 2 nothing. It said it was tied. You know, they didn't, you know, play well from there on. Obviously, they, they got outscored. But, you know, even that game, I, I really didn't think they played, like, terrible. You know, so I, I, coming out of the All Star break, I they looked real good. I mean, look, three or four games, and like I said, they ran into a little bit of bad luck in the Dallas game. So who do we got next? Buffalo? Yeah, that's a winnable game. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be in the playoffs by next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it. You know, I mean, look, they they dominated tonight pretty much in all aspects of the game, which is great too. I mean, they they played a full. Well, I mean, what what do you think of the vibe tonight? I mean, as far as you know, how the lines are rolling and. Uh, you know, uh, playing against a team like that. I mean, you could see it there towards well, the end. If if Toronto had a little more time, uh, you know, it, it could have went a different way. You know, they were pressing late and everything. But uh, you yeah, know, but so I, I think I think the Rangers could have had like six or seven goals tonight, though. I mean, true. in the third period, you had the one with the one puck hit off like Lemieux skate or something. Like he was going in, he had a pipe. You know, Kreider shot one off of uh, Hutchinson's shaft of his stick. So, uh, you know, they, they easily could have had, like, five, at least five or six goals. Um, so I, I thought they played well. I mean, the lines, I mean, Quinn is just jumbling things again. I mean, he started the game off with, you know, Heedle on the line with Panarin and, and Strom was center in the third line. And, and then before you knew it, Strom was back with Panarin. Heedle's back on the third line again. And it's just like, you know, the guy just can't stick with lines, man. I, I don't know what's going on with him. What the hell's up with Panarin not scoring tonight? What's his problem? Actually, you know what? He's only scored one goal in like the last six games. So what's the he, problem? He's terrible. You better get his act he, together. <laughs> he's like a bust. <laughs> terrible signing. Look at McKay showing him up there with that beautiful empty net goal to seal the seal the deal tonight. But man, Panero, we, I got an issue with this guy. What's the story? <laughs> Actually, you know what it is. I mean, him. At, I, you know, like obviously we're joking around, but you know, are we? You know, are we? Crazy? Well, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> That's right. Well, overreacting to something, not us. Um, yeah, but Strom too. I mean, the two of them. Strom's only has has one goal in his last thirteen games, and and Panarin set him up for an easy tap, and he hit the side of the net. So that was another another goal that should that should have counted. Strom missed that easy sort of tap in in the third period as well. So 
Yeah, I don't know. The two of them sort of are. I mean, I'm assuming that's why, you know, Quinn went with a little try and heedle. I mean, that's good, you know, going forward, too. I mean, again, this is a rebuild year. I mean, you, you want to see if Heedle can play with, you know, Booch, uh, I'm sorry, with Panarin. You know, you never know what's going to happen at the trade deadline if they do decide to move Strom. You know, who the heck is center in Panarin? So, you know, I think it makes sense to try Heedle up there, you know, in the top six for some of these games. Again, most likely, you know, we joke about next week they'll be in the playoffs, but, you know, they're not going to be in the playoffs. So, um, you know, you might as well try to get Heedle, you know, a little bit, you know, some runs, you know, in the top six with Panarin or or uh, Puchnevich and, and, and see what he could do because he's going to be, he should be a, a big part of what's going on here the next couple of years, you know, within this, with this rebuild and then hopefully contending for a cup. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Who's that? Uh, Heedle or Buchnevich? Heedle. Heedle. Yeah, sorry. definitely Heedle. And man, uh, you got to give uh, De- Tony Dia what a, what a gorgeous pass that was, man. Tony's just been yeah. playing really well, man. Yeah. I, again, offensively, you know, the guy is, is, is good as any sort of blue liner right now, you know, defensively, <laughs> he's got, he's got some issues. But, you know, that that that's OK. You know, I, I could live with that offense. Uh, you know, I could live with some defensive uh, faults if it, you know, he's still putting up those numbers. But, you know, he's a tough guy, too. We, we've talked about him on the show. Um, you know, wh- what do you do with him? Um, you know, are you going to pay him a lot of money? I've said he's a guy I'd like to keep around. But, you know, with all the, you know, sort of the embarrassment of riches we have, you know, with these young defensive prospects and even young guys we have on the team right now. You know, he he could be a guy you see go at the trade deadline. I mean, no, there's so many, there's so many. You know, Don't, I'm just come saying, on, Tony's not going anywhere. There's so, such but, a good look, ranger, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, there's so, and again, we talk about it every week. There's so many directions that they could go at this deadline, whether it's you know Kreider or Strom or Puchnevich or you know, look, a, a guy I don't think we talk enough about who I you know we talk talking about Tony D'Angelo leaving is, is Shea. I mean, goodness, I hope they get rid of him. So if we could somehow Tony get had to- another point tonight. Yeah, no, he stinks. <laughs> um, <laughs> if we can maybe attach him to like Georgiev or something, that would be, I, I would like that. You know, I could, I could go with something like that. And, you know, it, there's going to be some changes here, but the big, look, the big guy right now is Kreider. I mean, that is going to be the big decision that Gordon has to make. You know, out of, I think, all of these guys, you know, you know, Strom is nice, but, you know, look, he, he's replaceable. Um, you know, Georgiev is, look, I, I'd like to keep him around and, and have Shostorkin and, and Georgiev, you know, going forward as, as this young sort of Russian goalie tandem. But, you know, if he goes, look, we still have Shostorkin and, and Lundqvist will be a, a, a capable backup. But, you know, Kreider, man, ugh. I go back. I, I think I go back and forth on Kreider like every five minutes on whether or not I think trading him is a good idea. You know, my, my buddies and I, we were talking about this for a while is that on, on Super Bowl on, on Sunday before the game, we were just talking Rangers. And, uh, you know, my buddy brought up a point that, you know, if you trade Kreider, the Rangers are literally going to spend the next three or four years looking for the next Kreider. So, I mean, does it make sense to try to figure out how to keep him here? Um, you know, the, but, you know, the... The other end of it is, are you willing to give him that seven-year deal? I mean, he turns 29, you know, I think in April. So by the end of that deal, you know, he's 36. I mean, what is what does Kreider look like at age 36, 35, 34? I mean, you know, is he still this big, strong guy? Is he, you know, obviously he's going to be on the decline, but, you know, how far, how far of a decline is, is that going to be? So, man. I, again, we do it every week. Uh, I'm I'm glad I'm not in Gordon and JD's seat right now because that's a tough one. I'll be I'll be shocked if he's not traded. You know, especially with the uh, that there's that extra buzz that's going on around the league right now as far as you know some of the top guys following stories and everything else. And uh, I would just be really really shocked if he isn't moved. Um, but yeah, I mean, you bring up a great point. I mean, this is the. I mean, but this is the lineup. This is what we're looking at. This is the, you know, we've talked about it, and everybody's talking about it and tweeting about it and screaming and yelling about it. You know, this this unique kind of talent pool that we have, you know, regardless of the team, right, you know, the the rebuild and the joking about the rebuild of the rebuild and, 
you know, something's going to something's gonna give here in the next couple of weeks at this trading deadline, and then we're all going to sit back here and go, we're going to be angry, we're going to be upset, or we're going to be, you know, uh, we expected this and so on and so forth. But 